I found it very emotional speaking yesterday. I want to make clear that I have always believed that the referendum result must be honoured, and indeed I voted for the withdrawal agreement on every occasion that has been presented to the House, yeah, yeah. which is more than can be said for my right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, yeah. the Leader of the House, and other members of the Cabinet yeah. whose serial disloyalty has been such an inspiration to so many of us. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, for half, more than half my life, I've been a member of Parliament, and I. I I absolutely love this place. I am worried about the Tory party because I think that the, the real worry is that what has always been seen, I mean, you know, give or take the odd spasm, as pragmatic, sensible, good at their job, sane, reasonable, and always, in my view, having a, the interest for the whole country, is beginning to look a bit like a Brexit sect. And the saddest thing of all, I think, is that Boris is a one nation Tory, wants to do the one nation stuff and is trapped and has been hijacked into this Brexit obsession of the modern Tory party. I don't think it'll die and I hope it won't split and I believe that this is a phase. But you have to have issues and leaders to get out of the phase. And I don't know which way this is going to work because at the moment I think it's headed for a bad place. At the end of the day, I think that Britain leaving the European Union is a tragedy. Um, but, you know, there are, the referendum said that they wanted to leave and a lot of other people can't wait to get out of it for reasons that I've always found, in most cases, incomprehensible. Um, but I think it is a tragedy and I think it will ill serve this country in the future. I want to get back to uniting the country and to the spirit that there is a spirit of compromise here. There's no spirit of compromise here. We've become absolutely absolutist. Now, I don't think Boris is, is like Winston Churchill because I don't think that anyone is like Winston Churchill. You know, Winston Churchill was who he was because of his experience in life. Boris's experience of life is telling a lot of porkies about the European Union in Brussels and then coming here to be Prime Minister. He doesn't like the House of Commons. He's not part of it. He doesn't feel as though he's a... He, you know, I mean, I, I, and I think he's engaged on this great obsession to get us out of Europe with no deal, do or die. That is not Churchill. I think it's extraordinary that we would have thought ourselves so successful, so powerful, um, so well placed in the world that we could afford to give up this extraordinary relationship we have in this great European Union. I think he would be disappointed.